Jessica Mancuso is well on the way to becoming a senior mafia boss, at least in the virtual world of Flip Life, a social game on the internet. The 26-year-old student has been a keen player for three months. Initially, she worked as a journalist, but recently she switched to the underworld. Right now I'm with Don Corniola and I'm trying to establish myself in the Mafia. And so far so good. And here we can see all the jobs I have to carry out one after the other. In Flip Life, you can become a career mafioso. But the game mostly puts players in careers they could have in real life as well, like chef, manager or researcher. You train a little, sitting at your computer, and you try to imagine you are really where you pretend to be. And you really do work your way up, just like in real life. The Cologne-based company United Prototype developed the game. Its programmers are currently working on expanding and refining their parallel world in the Internet. We have to make sure we give the palace a special role because it's one of the most expensive buildings in Flip Life and so there has to be something special about it. Last time we were considering showing all the people's avatars so they can be proud of being there. What's special about Flip Life is that you can play through realistic scenarios with real companies and real objects. I mean things that you see in real life. And that's something unique. Most games are about galaxies or something way out. Our game is about real life. Players can even get to know real companies, like the chemical and pharmaceuticals company Bayer. A player who successfully completes all the projects in the shortest time even has the chance of getting a real job with the company. The company uses the social media game to find potential recruits. And they can choose from among 150,000 Flip Life players. Sometimes companies are a little like black boxes. You've heard of them and know approximately what products they make, but what else do they do? Where exactly could I apply for a job? In our game, you can experience a company in play and trace the individual career steps. The largest European producer of social games is the young Berlin company, Wuga. Its game developers come from all over Europe, Asia and the United States. Every month, 35 million Internet users play one of their games on Facebook. One of its games is Monster World. Here a player plants and cultivates a garden and can see how other players' gardens are growing. This is the first game that I've ever been able to play with my family, with my sister, with my mom. I mean, we can share things with each other. They love the game. And it kind of taken a, a completely different side to how I see gaming versus, you know, playing a first-person shooter, much more competitive. And this is something where I can actually share it with my family, which is very cool. The games company now has over 100 employees, and it hires an average of two more every week. You haven't gotten quite that far yet, have you? I don't think even Stephanie's gotten past level four. Jens Begemann founded Wuga in 2009. He doesn't want to reveal sales figures, but he explains his business model. To earn money, we aren't relying on advertising or things like that, but solely on virtual products. All of our games at Wuga are free, and anyone can try out these games for free. But then there is a small percentage of players, a single digit percentage of the users, who like it so much that they're willing to pay for small advantages and expanded versions of the game. With prices starting at one euro, a player can use his credit card to buy things like a magic wand that makes his virtual garden grow faster. And when there are millions of players, that means healthy earnings for the company.